those to Fallout Mod Manager and go into your Fallout 3 folder. Now you remember FO3 Edit. Um, this was a program we downloaded much earlier and now we're going to need it. So start FO3 Edit. You'll see your entire load order appear here. Just leave it as it is and hit OK. Now FO3 Edit is going to load all your mods. This is a great tool to do some for modding in general and it has one very important function which is creating a merged patch. What a merged patch does is merge lists and other data across mods together. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to do it. You'll see it's still loading all the mods. This takes a moment longer depending on your load order. And if it loads successfully, it should say background loader finished. If you get an error message down here, that means one of your mods is missing a master. So in this case, loaded fine. Now we're just going to right click anywhere and go to create merged patch. Just hit that and we'll just name it merge patch and hit OK. Now that's already done. FO3 Edit has created our merged patch. And this patch, like I said, merges data across several mods. Now let's take as example the Pyromaniac weapons list. You'll see all of here are all the different mods. Fallout 3, Broken Steel, Fallout 3, Wanderers Edition, Weapon Mod Kits, Eve. They all have entries for this list. And only the very last loaded mod, which would normally be this one, only its data would actually be used. Everything else here, all this stuff would be ignored, only this one would be used. And the merged patch now took the data from all those lists and merged them together in one list. So you'll have one complete list. You'll see it's quite a number of lists you've got merged here. And this merged patch is a requirement. If you have several mods loaded, make sure you create a merged patch. Even if it's an entirely different load order than this one, create a merged patch. Now all you have to do is hit Control S and you'll be asked to save your file. Just hit OK and it should say done saving and now we can just exit. Now we will go back and start our Fallout Mod Manager and now our merge patch is down here. You'll see it has a load of masters. If you should, every time you add or remove a mod, you would need to create a new merge patch. That's very, very important. Now we can just activate our merge patch and our setup is done. We have some of the biggest mods in here and now we should be able to just hit launch and the game should start and there will be no error now one more very important thing to note is from now on you will only start Fallout with the Fallout Mod Manager. The reason for that is it starts it with FOSA. If you start Fallout with the regular exafile or shortcut it will not start FOSA and um, the mods won't run properly and with that we're done and I hope you enjoy your fully modded Fallout 3 if you like this video please feel free to share it with your friends if you're a modder and would like to link it on your mod page on Nexus feel free to do so uh, I plan on releasing another video for some general modding troubleshooting and other than that, I wish you all a good night and enjoy the World Cup.